Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. My pronouns are they, them, and I have motor and vocal tics. You will hear odd sounds from time to time. We will be joined today by Dog Blues. Uses they, them pronouns. Dog Blues has built Cow Island Trading Center, which is the build we're going to check out today. It's good. And we will also be joined by Commander Haley, she, her pronouns, who is going to be streaming this. Let's head on over to Cow Island, say hello, and see what's there. Hi, here we are at Cow Island. Dog Blues here has built this wonderful place for us, and they'll be showing us around. Commander Haley also jumping around. She will be, she's streaming. <laughs> Uh, so this is what I'm calling the saucer at Cow Island Trading Post, uh, and this is this is where all of the major functions of the island are. The first thing you want to do is come over here to the villager area and check to make sure that there are villagers in the system. Right now there are no villagers. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press this button, uh, the one that says press button to request villagers. Uh, if the light is on, that means that there are villagers available, so you just press that and wait a moment. They will fall from from up there. Here they come. If you, you don't have villagers in the system, uh, the Emerald Machine won't work. I mean, you can use the Emerald Machine uh, just as as a place to trade for emeralds, but you won't you won't be able to to swap out villagers. I can show you how that. So basically, what this area is for is just for if you if you like have a lot of carrots or uh, a lot of wool or anything of that sort, and you want to trade it for emeralds. You can come in here, and we've got most of the vi different villager types, and you can just come in and trade for emeralds. And when the trades lock up, you just uh, you just press this button, and it will send the villager off to, uh, well, it can either be killed or saved, but usually to a, a bright lava demise. And um, a, a new villager should... Uh, be replaced. This module is having some issues. I don't know why. So the emerald machine is basically just for getting a lot of emeralds. Uh, the other part of the system that re in involves uh, requesting villagers is this request area over here. So there are two things you can do here. You can either request a villager to convert into a zombie villager uh, and then back again, obviously. Or you can just request a normal villager. So if if you just need a villager for any purpose, um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that this light, this redstone lamp here is on for this for this side of the module. So right now it's not. So you would come over here to this blue button and you would switch it. So it's going to switch from the converter to the normal villager request. So then you can go ahead and let me just make sure there's still villagers in there. There are. So you go ahead and press this button and it's going to take a moment. It's going to take like a minute, but you can you can hear the cart send. You can see the villager go up. If either of those things don't happen, then then there's something wrong. But uh, it should just go ahead and send it. And in a moment, it'll plop down here. And then uh, there are boats in this chest, so you can take a boat and you'll place it down here. And you can you can transport the villager wherever. You can also place workstations on these these chisel quartz blocks here. And and here's our villager. So you know this is if you know if you want to just do. Some some, if you want to get a, a, a villager with a specific trade, you can just request it and start messing with the trades. Just um, the one rule is do not leave workstations out because it can mess with the villagers in the other parts of the system. So once you're done, make sure any workstations are back in this chest here. Um, and then and then yeah, when you're when you're ready to transport the villager, you put them in here. It, you might need to nudge them a little, but that time it just popped in and you write it away down here. Now, if you're just taking a villager for your own personal use, you just you just send it through the nether portal. If you are getting some villagers for the system, uh, what you can do is row the villager right in here, and while in a boat, you can pass right through the trap doors, and then you leave it there. If, you, uh, if you're submitting a villager to the system and you want it to be included in the system very quickly, you can send me a message on Facebook just to let me know that you did that and I can review it. Um, the reason I have this, this system here is because, you know, I, I want there to be a little bit of curation to what's in the public uh, trading hall. The, the main priority for me is it needs to be useful for everyone. I want to point out for those who don't know that converting villages... Yes, yeah, so, so this whole process, if you convert 
a zombie villager, either one that was originally a villager or just any zombie villager in the world, if you convert them back, you will get severely discounted trade. So the villager will drop down here. They'll either die, in which case you request another one using the button, or they become a zombie villager. When they become a zombie villager, you just press this button. It'll send them down here. And then over here, we've got uh, Splash Potions of Weakness and Golden Apples. You can set the, the brewer to be on. Just don't leave it on for too long because um, I just don't really want it to be to be running and, and filling it up past the, the space of the chest. To convert a zombie villager, you which uh, I have I have a button here that I just added that allows you to reconvert it. So I will, oh, so uh, the zombie will will start to shake. There'll be particles, and there we go. So now we got now we got a zombie villager. So I'm just gonna throw a splash potion on it and try not to stand too close to them because they they can hit you. Uh, and then you feed it an apple. And so now the villager is shaking and it's going to be, I think it's five minutes. And this guy will turn back into a normal villager and will have discounted trades. There are some trades where you do this once and you get one emerald uh, trades. And that's that's great. But there are some trades where you're going to want to do this several times. There's a chance every time that the zombie will, the villager will just die. So, you know, it's always a bit of a risk, but you can reinfect it a couple times and get the trades lower and lower. You can place uh, workstations right here. The way that trading mechanics work in, in 1.14 now is uh, you put these workstations down. They should hopefully take a trade. Sometimes it's a little finicky. If it's nighttime, they don't take trades or they won't swap trades. You put the, the workstation down, you look at their trades, if you like it, you lock it in by trading with them. If you don't like it, you break the workstation, wait for them to become a normal villager again, and then place it again, and they will pick up the profession and have new trades. Once you have a villager that you like, again, you can either take it for your own personal use in your own system, uh, or you can submit it to the public trading hall for other people to use. If you're taking a, a villager that you like, you would, you would boat it over this way to this other... Uh, nether portal if you want to trade one thing a little bit it's really useful to have this public trading hall that i've built where you know all of those things are available to you you don't have to worry about getting it for yourself but if you know that you're going to need a lot of something you know if you want to trade carrots for one emerald uh and just get a lot of emeralds or if you have a specific enchanted book that you really want a lot of etc you're going to want to make your own discounted villager so that's what this area is for you can claim a, a unit just by uh, breaking this this sign here and replacing it with your name, and then this is yours, and you can do with it as you will. You can place down workstations. You could put a crafting table in there. Anything you need. Um, make it's just it a for, little house. You could make it a little house, although, you know, you want to you want to follow me back in through the through the Nether portal. We can look at the next thing. Um, back over to Cow Island. Uh, those are the two main functions that use villagers the rest is just you know the stuff that's that's here for you to use um just as as i'm waiting to load back in um you've got the crop farm you've got a cow farm and we've got of course the public trading hall i'm gonna go up here and take a look at this cow farm sure this is operated by spawners and you just uh need to hold the wheat in your hand yeah yeah excuse me and I'm going to go ahead and have this on cooked mode and make sure that the machine is completely off before you switch it to a different mode because it'll really break. It can break. It can break. <laughs> you hold wheat, you have to hold it in your hand, and you stand on this pressure plate and uh, cows will start spawning in and they will uh, pathfind to the wheat and die in the lava or... In raw mode, they will die from being suffocated in the block. There's the crop farm, which is just a simple micro crop farm. Crop farm. It was designed by Il Mango, um, so I don't I don't claim to know how it works. Once you're in there, flick the lever, hold L shift, and uh, align yourself to the rightmost side of it, and uh, hold uh, continue holding L shift and right click on the right dispenser and also uh, left click to break the crops. And you should you should uh, start getting a lot of cr crops quite quickly. It's really quite quick. If you, if you need a few stacks of any of these crops, you can just use this farm. Sometimes uh, items will get stuck on, on the, the, uh, the dirt blocks, but don't worry about it. it they should be pre 
pushed by the piston the next time it activates. So so all that is fine. Just a, a little passive uh, melanin pumpkin farm so that you can trade up at uh, the Emerald's machine. And then finally, the last function of the system is just the the public trading hall. So um, you come in here. Uh, there's a directory right here. There's a book here that will list all of the trades that are currently available, um, what they cost, and what floor they're on. So you can look through that directory, see if the trade you want is available, go up to the corresponding floor. If you're confused at all, um, there's an instruction book for the Emerald Machine, and then there's also an instruction book for the request area. Um, the villager area is really only useful if you're having issues. So if, if, if something isn't working, you want to come over here and kind of troubleshoot that, make sure everything is, make sure there's villagers, make sure there's carts. Um, and then if it's, it's not behaving in the right way, that's, that's when you come and contact me. But otherwise, this isn't, this isn't really much, much use. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to explain is um, in the Emerald machine, you know, if you've been uh, putting a lot of resources into a villager and you don't really want to kill it, but you need to... Uh, swap out for another villager. You can set this to keep mode, which just means uh, when when the villagers get cycled out of the system, they end up here. You can leave it on kill mode if you just don't care about them and you want them to disappear. But if you want to keep one of the villagers from the Emerald Machine, uh, you can set it to keep mode. They will end up here. They won't die. And same as with the request uh, area, you just place a boat here. You nudge it until the villager gets into the boat, and then you can boat them off to wherever you want. So thank you very much for showing this to us and for building it for the server, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just, you know, it's stuff that I needed, and I figured it makes sense to just build it in a place where everyone can use it. Well, thanks for joining us here. Happy crafting. Yeah, happy crafting. I wanted to make sure this place is as accessible as possible, so rest your weary legs. Oy, that's the nice thing about Minecraft. My le my Minecraft legs don't hurt. Hell yeah, absolutely. I wish I could. I wish I could have my cane in game, but it's not like I really need it here. That's always nice. <laughs>